if any of this looks like the kind of writing that you do, it's only a matter of time before you experience a bent or broken tie rod. Today I'm going to show you how to install turnkey UTV's heavy duty tie rods for the Can-Am Commander. As you can see here, compared to stock, there is no comparison. We start with securing the machine on jack stands and removing the front tires. Next, we'll undo the factory tie rod by removing the nut that attaches the ball joint to the spindle. To gain access to the other end of the tie rod, we'll need to remove the rubber boot, first by undoing the plastic band. Next, we'll clip the plastic zip tie that secures the rubber boot to the steering rack itself. Now we can see the ball joint that's threaded onto the steering rack. Using the crow's foot provided with the kit, we'll loosen the ball joint and remove the tie rod from the steering rack. Now that we have the factory tie rod off the machine, we can pull the tie rod end off and remove the rubber boot to be installed on the new tie rod. A couple shots of Windex will help get the boot off and back onto the new tie rod. When installing the new tie rod, you're going to first want to test fit the clevis. You want to end up with the flat side of the clevis facing the ground. You can adjust the positioning by removing the bolt from the clevis and spinning it and then reinstalling it. The ideal position will have the flat spot of the clevis leaning slightly upwards towards the front of the machine. Once we've got our position down, we'll use some red thread lock and install it to the steering rack. And then we'll install the heim joint to the clevis. With the heim joint installed, we can then thread on the tie rod. Now we can connect our new heavy duty tie rod to the spindle. Once you've reset your alignment, all that's left to do is tighten the nuts at each end of the tie rod and re-secure the rubber boot with zip ties. Now because I waited until my tie rod broke to replace it, I now have to replace the brake line which was taken out by the tie rod. <laughs> 